Good afternoon. We are live here in Windsor to celebrate the marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Thank you so much for joining us on this Facebook Live. Do get involved. Let us know what you thought of the ceremony, what you thought of Meghan Markle's dress, the guests that were in attendance today. And if you have any questions, I'm very pleased to tell you that I have a fashion stylist with me, someone who's worked at Vogue magazine, Harper's Bazaar and In Style. But as you can see right now, the crowds are jubilant. They're getting ready. They're waiting for that moment that many have been camping out for days for. It's the moment that the happy couple take their carriage procession through the streets of Windsor. They will pass us here on the High Street, then onto Sheet Street.
cream colour. Did you? I thought. I think it's yellow. I think we kind of need to have a bit of a check on that. Yeah, we we definitely definitely do. And and of course, you know, we've talked about Megan's amazing dress and the fact that she just looked so beautiful and they just kept staring at each other and it was so touching, wasn't it? So just it's just you can tell that they're in love and you can tell that it's just like yes. Like we get to do this. I think you know what love is when you see two people and there's a million people, you know there and a million people watching but for them billions of people for them it was just like it's just us and and what about her makeup it was i, I love the fact that you could see the freckles on her yeah. face it was a very natural fresh face look wasn't it it was just so you know the first word that comes to my mind is it was calming the whole thing was she was just so calm if anything harry kind of looked a bit more hot flustered than she did she just kind of carried herself she kind of like swanned in with her elegant face and her elegant makeup and i just think I heard someone describe her as, uh, uh, you know, it, she kind of looking like an Audrey Hepburn type of a figure. Yeah, that's not, yeah, I'm not surprised by that, actually. It's kind of that kind of level of ethereal, isn't it, where she kind of looked as she was carrying herself that way. I, I don't know, I feel like she...
they're just about to pass us now and you can catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. Looking so happy. And if you're just tuning into us, you're watching a BBC News Facebook Live and also on YouTube.
in comes the satin and in comes the silks, which is quite nice. Nice little change. Absolutely. Do keep your comments and questions coming into us. If you've just tuned in, uh, I am joined by fashion stylist Basma Khalifa. She's worked for a number of fashion publications and she joins us now to talk about uh, the wedding the ceremony Megan's amazing dress of course we've talked so much about Megan's dress Harry also oh, looked dapper Harry, didn't he he just looked so nice and I like that he had a beard and it was well shaped up I think he just he was you could you could feel the nerves from him you could it was oozing from him but he looked so handsome he looked he looked great I loved it Sangeen says, congratulations, this is a beautiful, lovely wedding, hope they have a good life ahead. Rosemary says, we have seen the best of Britain today. We really, and that is the perfect way to put it, we have literally seen the best of Britain. I don't think it's been such, I don't think we could have asked for any better. This has been so pleasant and there's Americans and Canadians standing by the British and everyone's just side by side loving the spectacle and it's, you know, there's no sort of, you know, he's ours or she's ours in whatever way it's like well we're just bringing everyone together and i think in the world that we live in it's just such a nice thing to be able to do and to be able to celebrate uh, now jacqueline says the dress was too plain for a royal oh, wedding did you see that tiara that was anything but plain so in order to wear the tiara you maybe needed for the dress to be a little bit more plain now um, and tell us a bit about the designer so claire white keller is um she came from chloe uh, where she was
part of the something new that's happening today. So Harry and Meghan are heading to St. George's Hall for a lunchtime reception hosted by the Queen. Later, there will also be an evening reception, I understand, which will be hosted by Prince Charles. Thank you very much for all your comments and questions, by the way. So many of them. I'd love to mention you all. Kelly says, hello from Perth. Congratulations to the happy couple. Andrea says, this looks like a happy occasion. Awesome. God bless from the Netherlands to the UK. Can I also just say, I feel like Stand By Me by Ben King is now going to be the most played wedding song. <laughs> I'm that is a very good point. That song is going to sell out now. Everyone's going to want that song. It just seemed so right. Oh, so right, and the gospelness of it, the whole thing. I think when I was in the room, we were watching it in the room downstairs, and as soon as it came on, you just heard this level of like, oh, and everyone just sort of swayed side by side, and there's something really sweet about that. And I think I predict that that song will definitely be on a lot of people's wedding list for anyone getting married this year. Rachel Carter Eagleton says Megan looked amazing. She shone like a diamond and she really did. I mean, you were just saying earlier that when she stepped out of the car and she was walking down the aisle, she just looked like she just was made for this role. Yeah, I mean, I feel like part of it, she just, she just acted like it was just like a normal day. She was just like so calm and you couldn't see the jitters and you couldn't see the stress. I mean, you could see it on Harry's face. And for Megan, she was just kind of like, yeah, this is, yeah, I've got this. And there's something so amazing about that and also so reassuring. I think for us, not knowing her that well, we've only really known her in the public eye for, let's say, a year, a year and a bit, that it's nice that we, the way she carried herself sort of gives us a level of trust in her that she can, she's got this. And I think that's really nice for the British public to feel as well. And the newlyweds shared a little kiss on the steps of
and we're watching pictures now of the procession from earlier. A truly magical moment of kind of moment of in history, if you like, history in the making. I know, and also I'm a bit like, is, is that it? I want to do it again. Like, I, always, I said earlier when we were talking, we kind of don't have this now until the, our, the little ones get older and get married. Until George, we, this is kind of it. This is our last royal wedding maybe of our generation. We're going to have to wait another 30 years. Louise Jones, uh, talking about uh, the, the younger royals, uh, thought Princess Charlotte was very cute. Very cute. I also liked that there was a bunch of kids and they all played their role very well and there was no falling over and there was nothing nothing that happened it just was all very sweet and I I think what's lovely about Megan is that instead of including so you know she didn't really have bridesmaids in a sat she just had lots of beautiful little children which was just so lovely to have and uh, there was that moment wasn't there where one of the page boys holding her oh veil God, so was cute. caught on camera making the most adorable yeah. face he was clearly so excited to be there yeah, and you could see it in his face i know and he had his little missing teeth and everyone was just like oh that's so cute and that's the thing i think that's an amazing thing about having kids at any event is you just don't know what's going to happen but the fact that they walked and walked so easily and so nicely and everyone was just so you know kids are so funny to have at these kind of events because they kind of make it and that's kind of what was so nice about it uh, Paul Winter says, what an amazing royal wedding. They planned it perfectly in terms of service, attendees and military representation. Well done, Harry and Meghan. And you were saying, weren't you, about how you know this wedding didn't have any heads of state. It had uh, lots of famous people instead and you know members of the public and people who work in charities that uh, the couple are involved with. They were also allowed to enter the grounds of Windsor Castle and celebrate with them. Yeah, and I love that she had her cast members from Suits. It was something so nice about that. I was like, oh, remember
little dress. Cynthia also says all the best from Texas. Uh, Stella says congratulations from Mayo Island. Long and happy life to the beautiful couple. Uh, Niranjan Paul says, uh, what is it like being in Windsor? Windsor is pretty ecstatic today. There's serenity, as we said earlier, but it's definitely, I'm definitely glad I'm here. I just think it's, it's such an incredible moment to be part of and everyone is just so happy and so calm and... Yeah, everyone's oh, really happy. So calm. Like smiley so faces, um, you know, everyone just seems so excited to be here and it's kind of infectious, isn't it, that? Yeah, and I think that is that is the joy of our royals and the joy of having them is that we get to celebrate things like this and we get to do things like this, which is amazing. Oh, oh, we can hear. What can we hear? There's something that appears to be happening. Something in the distance. Do keep your comments and questions coming well, into okay. us. Thank you so much for joining us. This is a Facebook Live for BBC News on Facebook and on YouTube.
Princesses. Uh, funny you should mention, mention uh, Princess Diana. Uh, lots of people mentioning her in the comments and questions. Uh, Horace says, congratulations, Prince Harry, and you uh, and your very beautiful wife, Meghan, wishing you both a long and happy life. Uh, Hira Salim says, I loved how Meghan was wearing minimal makeup and simplicity in her dress. Her, her makeup was amazing. The fact that you could see the freckles on her face, she looked made up, but not made up do you, do you know what i mean yeah and i think that's super important i mean it's you know megan in the end it does come from two different worlds and two different cultures within herself before she's even you know joining this one so it's so nice that you know she didn't cake on loads of makeup and you could see her freckles and you could see a sign of her you know her dual heritage and quite lovely about megan that she is so proud to be from the world she's part of and then proud to be joining the world she's going to be part of um, and I think that was evident in the ceremony with having um, the people who led it and then having the gospel choir that it was sort of, you know, a bit of everyone, which is ideal.